Hey guys, Gameboy3800 here once again, and my system is kind of dying. Well, not all of it. You can see it's still running. It is shutting down, and it should be restarting. If not, I'll force reset, since that's a thing. Um, my game archive drive. There we go. It's restarting. Uh. Just the drive I used to store footage on after it's been recorded. I move it all over. Um, it's dying. It still is read from the system. And I was able to delete a lot of the footage that I don't need anymore. So now, um, before when I did this screen, it would not... It will do a check disk and then say not enough free space. So I freed up about 300 gigabytes of space. Stupid controller. I freed up about 300 gigs of space and now there's enough room for the files to move anywhere they need to. And I set up a check disk. And before I tried to move files and adjust like the drive became disconnected entirely, even though it didn't touch anything inside. And it's it's odd. I tried to defragment, it didn't show up. And I tried to shrink the drive in Drive Manager, and it said the drive may be corrupt. Use check disk to fix errors. So I did that. Now presumably, after a long time looking at this screen. It will show up. While this screen is going on, I will tell you some updates. Uh, Project Puny has just got some bids on, so hopefully uh, within a few days it will be sold and out of here. Uh, it took longer to sell than I would have liked, but hey, I can't complain getting over $800. That's good. And then two other old laptop sold for 20 and that's about it in terms of bolide um i'm gonna have to take out the red g skull memory sticks that are inside you may be able to see them they all look blue to you but whatever maybe if i make it a white light since i have full control of the lights There we go. There we go, now we can see red. The red sticks are going to have to come out and go into Project Puny, since for some reason Project Puny is not recognizing the Mushkin cards. And then I'm gonna have the, here we go. Then I'm going to have to find out how to get the Mushkin cards to recognize on this system. Since it obviously does recognize Mushkin, I have like a whole set of 16 gigs in there right now. But I need to find out how to get them to operate in a quad channel. Because that was the issue before I made a whole other video on it. But maybe if I just take out the red ones and put the Mushkins in exactly where they were, everything will work fine. Although, somehow I doubt that. Now, we can see what happens here. Just going to let it do its thing. I'm not entirely sure what the 23 data files are since I deleted a majority of them there should only be like 10 at the absolute most whatever correcting errors in the bad clusters file so it should in theory move the data around insufficient disk space to fix volume bitmap. Why?
So it'll come up to the screen. That's some Microsoft error that happens when the Xbox controller is plugged in. Uh, don't know what it is. It doesn't affect anything since the game still recognizes it. So I, I don't bother. Everything is booted up except for the drive meter that I usually have. Pull up Explorer. As you can see, that luck with this D. It's being recognized now, but it should be called Game Stuffs. So I'm going to wait for it to be recognized completely. And see if I can get this drive to move some items over. Because it has uh, footage of Borderlands the pre-sequel. Um, we beat it for Confident Gaming. And the last five parts were on it. I have replayed the pre-sequel on another save file to up to the point where the part 15 ended. So we won't lose anything. We will just have to redo the last four parts. There we go. Local disk D. And now turn into game stuffs. At least it should be. There we go. I'm wondering now is why it's using up so much disk space. Everything is there, but I know that about as soon as I try to render something, it will die. How long is this? 18 minutes? What I could try to do is make it one long video and just put it on the desktop. The desktop is on the SSD completely unrelated to this issue. So yeah, I will do a quick render. That's an, that's an intro. So I'm not going to do anything else fancy. Just going to save it here as my movie. Just do 16. Now let's see if it saves. If it does, awesome. If not, then the program will crash, the drive will crash, and I will probably have to do a hard reset. But until then, we'll see if it saves. Because if I can get them saved individually off the hard drive, because I tried copying all the files onto my super backup drive right there, and it just said, cannot copy because insufficient data requir requirements, meaning that it was corrupt or something bad happened. But you can clearly see that it was playing there. I don't know why it splits in the middle. We will find out if it succeeds to render. I'm gonna do all this real time. If something pops up, you will see it. Should leave that open actually. It will have info. I'm going to close Intel Turbo Boost since that seems to die for no reason. Where are we? 
already 10% done. I'm really hoping this works and I can save my videos like this. This is how I save them anyways. Just has 1080p, 30 frames, high bitrate. I could try Adobe, but I don't wanna bring up all my main editing software with a hard drive that's dying. To keep the footage from being becoming jittery because it does that one there's a lot of space being used at once like in a long video like this uh, so I will pause the recording and get back to you if it fails or if it if it succeeds see you then okay at 27 percent all CPU usage has dropped The drive is still being recognized, but Movie Maker, it hasn't stopped responding, has it? Oh, okay. Now let's jump back up, 28%. Don't know why I did that, but now my phone is doing the jittery thing. I'm doing consistent back and forth, and it sometimes pauses in between, like it's having a micro stutter. So, I'll see you after this is done or failed. Alright, we're coming up on the final percents here. Um, I guess you could have left the video at this point because... The point of this video was to say that, hey, Boyd has another issue, needs to be fixed, I might fix soon, you know, that kind of thing. But we're going to see if this idea even works. If when I go to hit play after the video is done saving, and it looks good, and not, you know, kind of crammed up like part 15 was, because for some reason part 15 rendered in 4x3 and because the footage was in 16.9 it just kind of looked awful but it still was there all right looks like All right, that looks like it will work. So, I'm gonna do the exact same thing with episode 17, and hopefully, I'll get it all done. 17 is a lot longer, but I think, I think it's going to work. Since it clearly just came in here I can go through all of it without having anything die that's good so um yeah that's a good way to restore footage well it's not the best way the best way would to back it up first before any of this happened but it's it's good to know in case of emergency, that, oh, I probably can't use it because Movie Maker's still open, or delete it, whatever. I'll keep all the footage until something bad happens. So, I'm going to save this one as 17, and keep do doing that until episode 19 is rendered. Uh... I'll let you know of other updates as soon as they arrive.
Thanks, Game Boy out. See you next time.